Now from the University of Florida, the Research Report, highlighting research that could make a difference in your life. You won't have to worry about this car's driver being distracted by a cell phone or a song on the radio. It doesn't have a driver. The Navigator, as named by the University of Florida engineers who built it, pilots itself. It's a heavily modified 2006 Toyota Highlander that robotics engineer Carl Crane and his team have designed for urban travel. There's a lot of things that people take for granted that seem easy to do, but to get the computer to do it all by itself, such as find the lane and the stripes and stay in your lane. What if there's a slow vehicle in your lane? You want to pass it. A vast array of computers, cameras, and other equipment control the speed and maneuverability of the car. Researchers developed it to compete in a government-sponsored test of skills for unmanned vehicles. One of the hardest ones is interacting with other vehicles. We have to be able to go to, for example, four-way stop uh, intersections, determine who has precedence and right-of-way, and successfully navigate through those. The Navigator will put its city driving talent on the line against other unmanned vehicles in late October. At the University of Florida, I'm Quentin Iman. This has been a research report from the University of Florida, the foundation for the Gator Nation.